Hi, it's Jim, IO Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. There are a lot of videos on YouTube right now covering the full self-driving beta, and I'm trying hard not to just put up yet another video of people watching me drive around. But I think it's important for me to get out some information about how well full self-driving is working right now in 10.3.1. Where is it good? Where is it bad? And I did one single drive, but I'm gonna break it up into two videos. In this video, I'm gonna cover the things that I feel right now that full self-driving does incredibly well. And the second video, which I'll link above here, covers you know the rough edges, the things that it still needs to work on. And I don't want that video to be considered a full self-driving bashing. It is just for me to try to give you feedback on the current state of full self-driving. So hopefully you enjoy this video. If you did, uh, please let me know in the comments and uh, let's just get started. All right, first drive with 10.3.1 and we're gonna be taking it across a number of roads through a roundabout and uh, finally got it back. Um, lost it yesterday when they rolled things back due to bugs in 10.3. Got it back this morning. Thank you. Waiting for a light. I'm gonna go through this. We are currently running on the average FSD settings. There's chill mode. I think standard chill average and assertive now we're back on an unmarked road seems to be doing okay on the right hand side got a parked car here coming traffic it does get over to the right more traffic Turn. Got a person on the right. It looks like nice job giving that person a little space. Yellow light. You can actually go through. I would have called that a stale yellow. And uh, in 500 feet, bear right to stay on Sixth Avenue. Another stop. We're going to come up to our first roundabout that it should navigate through. We're going to go all the way now through it. Right to stay <clears> on 6th <throat> Avenue. I've never done this before, so we will see what happens. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Tap in the accelerator to go. Didn't want to wait around. There's people behind me, and we are through. When you're on these roads, these are the roads that you can enable full autopilot, standard autopilot on it. It's full self-driving is just rock solid. No wavering, no moving around. It just feels like a human being driving. Great. Now we're heading up into another roundabout. We're going to go straight through. In 500 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. There's no one behind me really, so I'm going to kind of see if this will do this all by itself. Now enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Slowing way down. Coming to an absolute stop. Now it's going slowly. A little jerky. Look at that, it did it. Accelerating up to speed. Good job, Tesla. A little jerkier than I would want, but that was successful. Except for the full stop going into it, which was unnecessary. There were no cars, I think. Yes, right there. I yelled at me to pay attention since I wasn't looking at the screen. I am paying attention. 
Okay, this is in the usual direction. Now turn left onto 7th Street. Alright, well, I did that pretty well. Got an oncoming car. Need to take the right. Thank you very much. Still wants to kind of go to the middle. In 500 feet, turn left onto 3rd Avenue. One thing I really like about the FSD Beta, even over the standard autopilot in town uh, when you're going straight, is it seems to be slowing down a lot more naturally where the other uh, autopilot probably running off of radar would kick in a lot late. You'd be coming and barreling into the back of a car and you'd wonder, am I stopping? Am I, am I going to hit the back of the car? And then it would usually, it would always stop. It always hit the brakes hard. And the passengers in the car seems to be upset about that. This seems to be much more... Natural. All right, that is 10.3.1, the good stuff. All the things that I think work really well and Tesla needs to double down on and continue to improve. So hopefully you like this video. If you did, hit that like button. Even better, hit that subscribe button. Subscriptions really help drive the channel. So until the next video, we'll catch you later.